So we're starting to look at geometry now, but before we can calculate angles or look at uh, similarity, um, we need to know the language. We need to know what we are talking about. And therefore, the next couple of videos, uh, which you can find nicely organized, by the way, on my site, explainingmaths.com, in the next couple of videos, we're going to talk about the vocabulary, huh? the essential words, the key words, which we need to understand in order to be able to work with geometry. And this video is about angles. And I'm sure you have heard of these angles before, but it's still good to remind yourself of them. We have four types of angles. Yeah? The first one, I'll write it down, are acute angles. Then we have a right angle. Do you know the next one? Indeed, obtuse angle. And the last one, we call them reflex angles. Okay, and what is an acute angle? Well, an acute angle, in the Netherlands, we also talk about sharp angles. Yeah, sharp angles because you can cut yourself touching that angle. An acute angle lies between zero degrees and 90 degrees. Yeah, agree? It's an acute angle, it's a sharp angle. Then a right angle, or also called a perpendicular angle, and then we have this sign, yeah, the little square there, is an angle of exactly 90 degrees. Yeah, so acute angle between zero and 90, right angle exactly 90 degrees. And then we have obtuse angles, and again in the Netherlands, we like to call them lazy angles. You understand why we call them lazy angles? Because they are fairly relaxed hanging around, okay? And an obtuse angle is an angle between 90 degrees and the straight line, which is 180 degrees, yeah? So any angle in that uh, section. And then the last one is a reflex angle, and a reflex angle goes beyond, let's say, the straight line, and that is an angle between 180 degrees and a full turn, which is 360 degrees. Good. So the four types of angles, we're going to talk now in my next video about triangles and the important language there. You can share and like this video if it was useful and check my site at explainingmaths.com. I'll see you later.